All right, in this video cheat sheet, we're going to enable MPLS incrementally on our network. We're going to start off with the baseline show commands of show MPLS LDP neighbor and bindings. And then we're going to en enable two debug commands, debug MPLS LDP peer state machine and messages sent. And I promise you in this video cheat sheet, we'll, we, we will see output from these commands. If you've been following along with the previous video cheat sheets, we haven't seen anything. And uh, I was doing that to, to prove a point, but we will see output from this debug command in this video cheat sheet. And then we're going to enable MPLS on our network or MPLS incrementally. And then we're going to finish up with some verification show commands to show MPLS LDP neighbor bind LDP neighbor and bindings and show MPLS interfaces to see what's changed. We're going to be enabling and, and it's called incrementally on the network because MPLS has already been enabled on the rest of the network. We're just going to finish off the network here and enable it here on router 2. We could be starting with router 2 and just enabling MPLS incrementally just between the links between router 2 and router 3 or 3 and 4. But since the rest of the network is already completed, we're going to finish it off here on router 2. So let's do our two show commands, show MPLS LDP neighbor and bindings. And just like the previous video cheat sheets, we do not have any output from this yet because we have not enabled MPLS on the router. Let's do a debug. MPLS peer state machine and messages sent to see how things unfold as we configure MPLS on the network. Now in previous video cheat sheets I mentioned configuring MPLS globally and then on the interfaces. And you can do that. You can do a conf-t MPLS IP in the global command and hit enter and then enable MPLS's on the interface and that's fine. Everything will work just fine. All right, so you can do that. But I'm going to show you, and I'm going to skip this step right here. I'm not going to enable it globally. And all I'm going to do is implement it on the interfaces, and I'm going to show you that everything will work just the way that we hope that it should. So you can do it globally and on the interfaces. It's not going to hurt anything. But I'm just, once again, I just want to prove a point here that you don't have to do it globally. So there, there's the, on the first interface, and hopefully we'll start seeing some debug output. And I'm going to put it here on the second interface. There we go. So I put it on the interface that goes over here to three, and we're, we're starting to get some, some keep alives going back and forth between two and three. And then we even have right here a peer to three and then down here we start having some messages being sent and keep alive to four and then we have a neighbor up to four so we finally and that was via LDP and up here uh, this was also LDP output because they were LDP um, debug commands but then right here it says a TDP neighbor so let's do our show command so we finally got some debug output we finally have enabled MPLS completely across our network so let's do some show commands real quick and I'm gonna turn off turn off debugging do a show I uh, do show MPLS LDP neighbor and now we have neighbors where before we never had anything so now we have a peer TDP neighbor because remember we configured TDP on the link between router 2 and router 3 so there's our peer and here's some other information and then here's our peer LDP neighbor to 4 so let's look at our bindings let's see if we finally got some bindings and we do and I'm just going to pick one out here real quick so for 2 to get to 5's loopback address it, it has created a local tag that it will advertise to any uh, MPLS or LDP neighbors that it has of 20. But to get through router 3, router 3 is looking for a tag of 21 and router 4 is looking for a tag of 20. So if it wants to send it through 3, it has to put a tag of 21 on there. Let's do a show MPLS interfaces real quick. And there we have our interfaces and we have LDP over to router 4 and TDP over to router 3. So that is how you enable MPLS finally on your network and specifically just on interfaces.